I like these things. I've never really been into fidget spinners, but my kid got this one in a little box full of gadgety things off of Amazon, and it's actually kind of satisfying to be honest. 20 minutes later. Anyway, there's a really interesting part of cybersecurity, and that is gathering information. People put a lot of information out there. Maybe you work for a company and your job is to gather intelligence on your company's executives so that you can tell them where they're exposed online. Some of those jobs are quite interesting because you'll not just gather information on the executives, you'll gather it on their families as well, and that's where it gets quite sensitive. But ultimately, if you can identify all of the usernames on social media that those family members and friends and things use, you can use that to correlate and gather even richer intelligence on that executive. And that's how some of these technologies are used in practice. So let's have a look at Sherlock. So here we are, we're inside Kali. I'm gonna change directory into the opt folder. Opt is typically where you put optional binaries and little scripts and things that you're gonna use. So any sort of software that you download off of GitHub, just fire it into the opt folder and that's where it all lives. Now we're gonna need sudo and we're gonna need git clone and I'm gonna to have to jump back to Safari. I'm gonna take this and we're gonna paste it in here. Give it the password. And while that downloads, we'll just have a quick look at this. To set this up, we gotta run Python 3 dash M pip install R requirements. Let's just copy it and stick it in. I'll put sudo there for the fun of it. Paste it in. Could not open require, ah, I need to go into Sherlock, silly boy. So as you can see, running LS, we get Sherlock. Move in there and then I'll press up, up, up. And we'll run that. So this is basically gonna install Sherlock on our system and it means that we can just run Python 3 Sherlock and you can run that from anywhere on the system. I'll use Control L to clear the screen and let's give it Python 3 Sherlock. There it is, that's the usage. Now all you have to do at this point is give it the username you wanna look for and hit enter and off it'll go. The default timeout for Sherlock is 60 seconds, so it can take up to 60 seconds for each return to come back. But to be honest, this is really quick. It's already found tons of things that I recognize and some things that I forgot I even had. So if we look on the screen, you can see issue. That's like a sort of online magazine reader. You can right click, open link, and it is actually my account. Ooh, that, that's a photograph of me in Paris with my old Nikon D3S. Oh, what a beautiful camera. May it rest in peace. And this is quite useful. I forgot about this account. I haven't used this in years. So I'm just gonna go and delete this account after I finish recording this video. Let's look what else is here. Try Hack Me, yep, that's my profile. Ultimate Guitar, yes, I play the guitar. There's my granddad's guitar over here. Vero, I do have a Vero account. Varus Total, I do have a Varus Total account. Never heard of Coup, let's open that, see what's in there. So it's not perfect. This won't work perfectly all the time, but this is much faster than you trying to do it manually, going through all the apps, searching for Gary Ruddle, do it this way, much better. Let's jump back into our terminal. Reddit, Redbubble, Patreon, Medium, yeah, I've got, all of these accounts, if this then that, Gumroad, I do have a GitHub, I don't have a Facebook, I don't know if this will show us anything, ah, Gary.Ruddle, but I can see that is not me yet, I don't have a grey moustache yet, give it time. Buy me a coffee. If you'd like to buy me a coffee and support the channel, you can absolutely do that. There's a little link on YouTube in the banner. Much appreciated. Welcome to the club. 
bodybuilding? Me? I think I might actually have a bodybuilding.com account. Oh, I definitely do have a bodybuilding.com account. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, I think this account has to go in the bin. <laughs> So as you can see, it is a really cool tool. It searches a whole bunch of websites. Let me just show you which ones it actually searches. If we come up here and click on sitelist.py, is that it? Nope. Maybe sites, here we go. So 368 sites in total. Most of these sites I've never even heard of. Oddly, it doesn't even have LinkedIn on the page, which I thought was very, very strange. LinkedIn isn't on there. That's odd. So it seems quite straightforward. Gary, Riddell, stick it together, search for it. But I actually don't own Gary Riddell, all one word, on Twitter or Instagram. It's Gary underscore underscore Riddell. So this is where you have to do your intelligence gathering. You'll see that on LinkedIn, I'm just Gary Riddell, all one word. YouTube is Gary Riddell official. Twitter and Instagram is Gary underscore underscore Riddell. Back in the day, it was really easy just to get Gary Riddell, all one word. But nowadays where everybody's on social media, it's really hard. That's why you get people putting their dates of birth and things like that into their username. And this will only get worse as time grows and populations grow and more people come online. So you're gonna have to do some open source intelligence gathering, manually going through a few of these sites. If you're coming up short and you think, Gary must have a Twitter. He must do. He does cybersecurity. Loads of cyber people are on Twitter. Well, they're on Mastodon these days. So you go to Twitter, you find my handle on Twitter and you see the double underscore and then you search that again in Sherlock and you'll find loads of other pages where I exist. And remember, delete your bodybuilding.com account. <laughs> see you next time.